In our Speaker's Corner report, a Canadian living in Japan reached out to us after having trouble accessing his own funds. After a successful teaching career in Nova Scotia, John Savage moved to Japan with his wife. Uh, so I've been living overseas for over 20 years. One thing he did not change in the move, his bank. I was with RBC I, um, early 1980s, so it's been over 40 years that I've been with them. And he's been very happy, so he kept his account, which has his savings and retirement funds. And I've retired. I'm over 65, so OAS, CPP, etc. So we need those, that money for to, you know, living expenses when you're in Japan. For years, he was easily able to transfer his money as needed from RBC to Japan. So normally, over the last number of years, you could make a certain amount. It was a, a set limit, but it was very easy. Connected with my bank in Japan, and uh, that was fine. That is until a couple of months ago. But in Japan, any Canadian that lives here, it's very difficult to access your funds uh, through an international transfer. The problem is the RBC app, which is used to send transfers and verify customers' identity, is not available to download in Japan. Savage was told he could use the website to transfer his money, but ran into problems doing that as well. They require you to have a Canadian or American phone number in order for them to verify your identity, which I've been overseas for 20, over 20 years. I don't have a North American phone number, never will. He reached out multiple times to RBC customer service. So, and they say that they're working on that, but you never get any concrete information on timelines, how close it is. Um, so it's been quite frustrating. So he contacted Speaker's Corner. We asked an RBC spokesperson to weigh in. They could not comment on his case, citing privacy issues, but said a representative would be in contact to help him. Protecting our clients' financial information is among our highest priorities, and two-step verification provides an extra layer of security to our online and mobile banking experience, the spokesperson said. They went on to say at this time the RBC mobile app is required to complete that verification. While the app is available to customers in 40 countries, Japan is not among them. RBC went on to say, though, we continue to explore opportunities to increase international availability of our app in the future. In their statement to City News, RBC said customers in Japan can still use online banking to send up to $1,500 daily. When we asked Savage to try doing it that way, he still had problems. And when you go to hit international transfer, it comes up that you need to have this app because they have to verify. He's now waiting to hear from a representative to help him solve the issue. As always, if you have an issue, story, or question you'd like us to look into, reach out by visiting the Speaker's Corner tab on the City News website. Pat Taney, City News.